Hey YouTube, it's a bit of an epilogue on the Archimedes, so I'm leaning right into the camera. I've got stinking bloody cold and uh, probably sound terrible. But I'll try and explain what I've done here. I've got, didn't have a mouse to get this, uh, t there's a couple of problems with this. This drive keeps spinning up. And doing nothing. And I didn't have a mouse, so <coughs> I took the disk drive apart. I took the disk drive off. This is a IDE board. I took it off. It's got a ROM on there. It's got an IDE chip on there. Reseated that. Flowed all the solder joints. Took the drive off. Tapped it sharply. Not really sharply, but just sharply enough to release anything that might have been seized up. Made no difference. Um, so gave up with that for now. And then turned the attention to the mouse. Now, I've ordered an Arc mouse. I mean, the, the mouse for these things is like 50 quid on eBay. It's a joke. So I thought, well, at least to get it going, there's probably something I can do, and there is. I'll show you how to wire a um, any uh, quadrature mouse. This is a um, Amiga tank mouse, and it's the same as this. This is a Atari ST or Amiga. This one's quite clever. It switches. I'll fix that one um, <coughs> to work on the Amiga because 50 quid for a mouse is a lot, and even the adapters are like. 30, 40, maybe 45 quid. So if it, all I would, wanted it for was just to try and navigate around and see what I could see. So all I've done here, I've got the, haven't touched the insides of the mouse. Uh, I've got a D sub male there, and I've got a nine pin mini D in the other end, and I've had to strip the hell out of that to make it fit because I've butchered it. I'll show you the pin out on that. But the most important thing to get on this is the 5 volts and ground, because this is powered by 5 volts and ground. So the way I did that very easily was I plugged it in the Amiga um, with the D-sub, and I took the top off it, and the chip under here. And if, if the little dimples in the top of the chip, the third one down on the left is VCC, and the third one down on the right is ground. And if you trace those back, you can then work out what should be VCC and ground on here, so you don't at least blow up your Amiga mouse. What I wanted to do is make sure I didn't mess up my oh, um, mouse. So luckily there's a chip in there. And if you get the pin out of the chip, which you won't need to do because I already have, you'll find out that if that little nick at the top is there, so that's a dimple at the top, third pin down on the right is ground, third pin down here, one, two, three, is ground. Third pin down on the left, one, two, three, is VCC, or five volts. So, third pin down there, VCC, third pin down there, ground. Which goes all the way through the cable, so you can stick that in there and work out which of these pins is VCC and ground. Once you've got that, it doesn't really matter, because as long as you're not cooking this, um, then you can mess around with the others. So, that was the first thing I did. So that's how I did it. Uh, Colour coded for your viewing pleasure. Sorry about my stinking cold. But there is how I did it. So it's a D sub side, 9 pin DIN side. Both from the solder side of the connector side, both looking in from the solder side of the connector. Um, Y1 is to do with the mouse direction. RB, right button. Y2 is to do with the mouse direction. Plus 5 volts, I've put that as blue, that's just the way it works out on the cable. Don't think that's, that is 5 volts, the blue one. Black X1, that's to do with the mouse direction. 0 volts or ground is grey. Middle button, MB. Left button, LB. X2 is to do with the mouse direction. Some people say that the ring or the shield is uh, 0 volts, but I've used that pin there, same thing. So, close up, that is the back of this, which is the same as looking into the socket on the actual computer. And that is the back, looking at it like, like that. That's looking at it like that which would be the same as looking into the mouse connector. So that's from the back of that, that's from the back of that. There's a close-up. 
there's a close up hope that helps have a nice day see you later bye so I tried to uh, you know see what was on the disc and uh, it just says bad drive so I might as well take it off I mean I put it on for there and it might, is there a jumper or something sometimes there's a master slave on here I know there's jumpers on here maybe I'm missing something if anyone knows please help me um, but if I just try and go in it this is bad drive.